Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world. And today I have stuff both from the Munch Addict box that I subscribe to and purchased at um, H Mart, my favorite Korean grocery store that has all kinds of Asian foods, which you can probably find at any Asian store around you or sometimes at non-Asian stores. Okay, I'm going to start off today with something that the cat will probably fight me for because I absolutely love them. And I know that I've done something similar before, but not these specifically. These are shrimp crackers. And guess, yes, they are from Korea. Um, they're made of flour. They're not like made of like ground up shrimp necessarily. Seasoned oil, but they do have dried shrimp in them. So, you know, on the allergen list contains wheat, shrimp, anchovy, soy, and milk. Manufactured in a facility that also processes egg, peanut, and tree nuts. So if you're allergic to anything, don't get this one, okay? But for the rest of us, let's see. I have had these before. Where are my skizzers? There they are. Left them right there because Deborah proof packaging sucks. And uh, we want to be able to get into the packet. So. Ah, shrimp crackers. They look like sort of fries like the the Andy's hot fries or whatever and they do taste of shrimp so if you ever had like popcorn shrimp just imagine that they turned your popcorn shrimp into a chip kind of deal mm. love these mm -mm -mm. And they have so many different brands of these as well. Um, these are Nongshim. Pretty sure that's the brand name. They make a lot of stuff that's at H Mart. And yes, this is what a shrimp looks like when it's in the ocean and doing its thing. It doesn't like live breaded and, you know, fried and on your plate. So celebrate it, y'all. Celebrate it. Try it. They do have versions that are hot as well. These are not spicy hot. These are just seasoned nicely. My friend is here. The hand is not in here today. I think he's napping, but my friend is here and he's going to try and chomp and stuff. Some things he cannot try because he cannot have actual nuts because of belly issues. Oh, and he's being tapped by the cat. Literally. Cat is behind him going, hey, hey, me wants. Uh-huh. I hear you. I'm gonna, by the way, those definitely fat chick approved. Love them. Always love them. I like chips and crackers and stuff anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're likely to get attacked for those. I'm going to Pocky. Pocky has so many different varieties and flavors. This is the Almond Crush variety. And Pocky is essentially, it says right on it, chocolate cream covered biscuit sticks, artificially flavored. And then these have almond bits on them as well. Comes in two separate packets. You can just open one and save the other one for later. How nice. And by the way, this is a product of Japan. So more Asian, you know, I love getting stuff from the Asian markets and such. And look at the design on that packaging. That is so nice. I mean, it's clear. You can see through it there. And then they've got that sort of portrait thing going on. Very, very nice. And it says open and it says share happiness that part is in English the rest is in Japanese but it does show you what to do to open it you can either go this way or you can go this way and somehow I've still managed to mess it up forget it tada scissors for the win oh. this really is the epitome of Japanese snacks okay a stick part so that you don't have to get your hands dirty with chocolate and then dipped in this wonderfulness and an efficient little package. That is just Japanese in a snap. Mm. Now I've heard some people say, I don't like Japanese food. I don't like raw fish. Okay, honey. There is so much more to all of these cuisines than you are thinking. This is a snack. This is something you could buy from a vending machine. Of course, in Japan, you can literally buy anything from a vending machine. Yeah, look at what well, look on YouTube sometime. You will see they have vending machines for everything. But these are yummy. This is something that American snack companies would have thought of if they could have. Mm. 
nice chocolate, bits of almond, little cookie, they call it a biscuit, you know, very nice. I haven't found a pocky yet that isn't fat chick approved, okay? And they swap out their varieties sometimes. Some things will last for a short time and then they're gone. There was one, one time that they had, and this was probably at least 10 years ago, called Men's Pocky or whatever. It was a dark chocolate, a nice bitter chocolate on the biscuit. It was a bigger pack. They were delicious. They were awesome. I wanted all of them. And then I couldn't find them anymore. And because they found out girls like them too. I don't know. That made me sad, but... You know, finding other pockies. Yes, please. Thank you. All right. Moving on to something that I normally don't gravitate towards. Gummy snacks. This is a product of Canada, it says. Jealous Sweets Gluten-Free Plant-Based Grizzly Bears. Lemon, Apple, Orange, Strawberry. Okay. On the, and it also says on here that this packet can be recycled, which is interesting. It's not like one of those regular plastics. Um, and it has on here, Yum and Games. At Jealous, we make shamelessly tasty sweets set up by two mates to bring some fun back to the everyday. Our junk-free sweets are made for everyone to enjoy. We're obsessed with giving you the best, which is why we make our sweets without fakery or fluffy animals. So you can treat yourself better. Says it's vegan approved. I mean, do they, do they just keep a vegan there to go, yeah, that'll do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But ingredients, glucose syrup, sugar, gelling agent, pectin, and some citric acid and stuff, and color spelled with a U in it, and um, some flavors that are actually based on real foods. All right. Let's see what you got. Oh, this one didn't require the scissors. Oh my gosh. Smells fruity and sweet. Looks like I got two yellows, which is probably two lemons and whatever the darker one is. Probably strawberry. I'll put that there. You can have some, absolutely. I love lemon, so we'll see. That's a cute little bear. Look. It's a little bear, and it's squishy, and it's going to go right in my face. It's a good gummy chew. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is some lemon flavor right there. They didn't just wave a lemon past it as it went to packing. There's some lemon in there. That's yummy. Wow. Okay. Y'all impressed me. Let's try this one, which is probably strawberry. Also, squish, squish, squish. Mm. Good flavor. Not as intense as the lemon, though. But it still has a good strawberry flavor. All right. I'm not mad at it. The only thing I really don't care about gummy snacks is they stick in your teeth. Now this is not like a caramel or a taffy sticky. It will dissolve because of what it's made of. But these have a really nice flavor. Mmm. Lemon. Mm. I love lemon. Mm. No, Oscar, you can't have any gummies. He's asking for them. He's like, please, you're eating them. Why can't I have them? Mmm. I'm going to have some more. Let's see if I can get five different flavor in there. Oh, there's a green one. The green one is probably apple. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Like covering up, making it my whole head and going squish, squish. Yep, the green one is apple. Mm -hmm. What's nice about that is you can actually tell what the flavor is. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm going to have to search them out because they did a good job. 
with the flavors on these. And it says it's 80 calories, and that's the whole packet of these. That's not just for like three or four of them. It says made in France, packed in the UK, distributed by a company in London, but then it says something about Canada. So this one has been around, apparently. She'd been around a little, but she's still sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta try the orange. There's an orange buried in there somewhere. That's all of them. Oh, the two orange ones were hiding out together. Okay, I'll set the rest of these down because I don't need all of them. Orange, squish, squish. Yes, I know, it was upside down. Mm. Mm. Once your mouth gets all up in it, you really do get a nice flavor. Oh, yes, I'm ducking down because someone wanted to be seen. Hi. Hello. Well, oh, don't act all indifferent now. You're the one who wanted up here. Yeah. Say hi to the peoples. Say hello. I am teeny little Oscar, and I cannot have any of the gummies. No. No gummies for you. Will you live without the gummies? Maybe. Okay. Don't you get down. So what did you think of our trip around the world today? Korea, Japan, Canada, by way of the UK and France. I'm here for it. Everything definitely fat chick approved. Still got some gummies sticking in my teeth, but you know, flavor for later, I guess. And, um, if you ever get a chance to try something from somewhere else, try it. You never know what you're missing. Now I know this would have been an easy grab because wow, everything's in English and you, it looks familiar, but the shrimp crackers, there will be enough English on it generally that you can make out what it is. Give it a shot. You don't know what you're missing if you don't. And if you don't like it, you can at least say you have the experience. Try it out with a friend, put it on video. Let them see your face if you go, eh, or mmm, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you enjoying snacks around the world with me every week. And I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.